The Italian scientist we know as Galileo is best known for his theories of the planets, sun, and stars, but he did remarkable work close to home as well. While visiting a cathedral, he noted the swinging of a chandelier. Using his pulse as a timer, he showed that one cycle, one swing, took the same time no matter how big the swing. Small swings and big swings took the same amount of time. Galileo later designed an accurate clock based on this pendulum motion. Each day the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. The shadow of a tall object thus traces an arc from west to east, and this was the basis for the first timepiece, the sundial. Galileo and others showed that this motion of the sun was due to the rotation of the earth. Indeed, the motion continues after sunset, so the stars wheel through the night sky as our globe continues its spin. Each year, the tilt of the Earth's axis as it spins causes the length of the day and night to vary, leading to the cycle of the seasons. We watch as the days grow shorter and then longer, as the temperatures fall and then rise. If you watch the seasons for many years, you find that some springs and summers are colder or drier than others. This leaves its mark on growing plants. Peter Brown of Rocky Mountain Tree Ring Research shows how to take a core from a tree. This shows the wide growth rings of good years and the slim rings of bad. So now we can pull out the core. Measurements of tree ring and other data over hundreds of years shows how the Earth's climate is changing, a process that is accelerating. Over longer timescales, millions of years, the face of the Earth itself changes as the continents drift and fragment, move and reassemble, as this animation, which compresses half a billion years of images into less than one minute, clearly shows. Thank you.